at all times. It's part of bonding. Mm. <laughs> Forgiveness is actually part of bonding. For those just joining me, please join and um, share this video, please. I'm begging. I'm begging you. Me, Shakara. I'm begging. Share the video. Let somebody out there get this message. We are talking about bonding and we need to bond. So I'm, I wrote several ways of bonding here. Mm. Bonding with your family. If you have a wife at home, bonding with your wife in total. Like how you will bond in total. And now we're not just talking about bonding with your spouse. We're also talking about bonding with your children. They are part of the family. It is very, very essential. I keep saying this again. If you don't teach your children, the world will teach your children. My husband taught me that. Yes. If you don't teach your children, like if you don't teach them at home how to know or when to even know God in their life, the world will teach them. So anything you don't do, people out there will do it with time. So it is very, very important we do little, little things like this. So the first thing I wrote here, the first thing is a timetable. It is very, very important this period. You don't do things like, let me just do it the way it comes. It shouldn't be done the way it comes. It should be done according to how you want it to be. That is when intentionality comes in. Intentionality comes when you are aware of what you're doing. You're not just, oh, I'm awake this morning. What do I eat? Uh, what do I do? You know, you are not being intentional. You are not doing what you ought to do. Good evening, sir. I respect sir. I see, my hands are off. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Tunji. God bless you for joining me this evening. Um, like I was saying, intentionality should be taking place in our life this moment. So the first thing I wrote here is timetable. Timetable for the period. You need a timetable. You need to draw out what you want to do every day. Every day. Not just what you want to do now. What the family will do. Because we are all home. Mama is at home. Papa is at home. The children are home. So we want to do what everybody will do at this period. You understand? So you're drawing a timetable for yourself as a man, you're drawing a timetable for your wife, and you're drawing a timetable for the children. Like here in France, we actually have um, a timetable from school for the children, where everything they are doing, everything that is supposed to take place in school, they actually sent it to us. Like if you see our email box, eh, it's very, very full. And if you don't have a printer, it's a problem. Even if you have a printer like me, my ink, my ink, I'm tired of using the ink right now. Like it has almost finished. Just under two weeks ago. In two weeks, we've used our ink. So, you know, when um, you're having children that you have to cater for, you have to be responsible for them. Of course, you have to be responsible. So here in France, they actually sent all these works and we are trying our best to do what the teachers are doing. And you know, in last week I was like, man, I salute teachers. They are really trying. Ah, they are trying. You know, even here yeah, it's worse on like Nigeria whereby a child is not doing, you know, properly and everything and the teacher spank the children. Yeah, you don't spank children. If the only thing you can do is just to, you know, punish them and all of that. That's the worst you, a, a teacher can do. So, yeah, when I'm teaching these kids since last week, we, we do normal assignments, but now we are actually doing the whole work at home. So when you teach them at home, like, when we teach them, we'll be like, you're not getting this thing right. We try not to bring the ideology of spanking them because their teachers have not been spanking them. So these are things we shouldn't change because of the period, the special holiday, like the special holiday we have in presently. We shouldn't change the things they've been doing before just because of this. Instead of changing it for negative, you should change it for positive. Like you should add things that would inspire or inspire the own. In, at, at large. So the first thing again is timetable. Have a timetable for your family, not just for yourself, not just for your wife, but for the family. And second thing I wrote, of course, is prayer. Yes, it is very, very important. I keep saying we can't over talk about this thing. We can't over exaggerate prayer. Uh, you can't. Prayer is very, very, as in 100% necessary, 100% essential, obligatoire. Yes, it's very, very important. We pray. So now we're not just praying as an individual. We are going to be praying as 
a family. I was, I'm talking about how you can bond, like bond this period. That's what we're talking about. So there's a second one. It's prayer. It's very, very important. We pray as a family. There's this thing. I don't know. It's as if God answers prayer when you pray together as a family. So it's very, very important. We pray as a family, as a man, as a mother, as the children. Not the children are sleeping and the man and wife is praying downstairs. No. It's good to have your quiet time. Fine. But it's very, very important to bring in the children when praying, especially in the morning, when praying to our maker. Also, if you've not had a family altar before, mm, now it's very, very important. When we talk about family altar, for those that were um, raised in the Catholic Church, you would think maybe I'm talking about you know having that table whereby you put the sacred, sacred things and all of that. I'm not talking about that. A family altar could be anywhere in your house, anywhere. You know, relationship with God is not um, a doctrine. You don't have a doctrine when you're talking about relationship with God. It's not something, you know, written somewhere that must be accepted or must be done the way it was done in the past. You could have your relationship with God the way you want it to be. It's you and God. That's a business. But it's very, very important. You have what we call a family altar. Family altar. This period, anything you do this period, don't forget, is for the future. You are laying foundations this period. It's, for me, there are advantages, there are disadvantages of this season, this holiday season. But there are advantages, um, sorry, there are advantage people are not seeing. Like, we're just taking it, it's a normal thing. You know, sitting at home, whiling time, watching Netflix, watching this, watching that. Like, it's normal. I'm just trying to awake our knowledge this, morning, this evening about all of these things. Now the third thing I wrote here is exercise. Exercise, it's very, very important. It's very important. Now we've, talk, we've talked about timetable, we've talked about prayer, and now I'm talking about exercise. No matter how simple it is, when you do something consistently, you do something as a routine, as a tradition, you become so used to that thing. And whether you like it or not, it works for you. Like this period, I want us to just cultivate the habit of having exercise as a family. I'm not talking about just the wife, like just myself, going to, you know, warm up and everything. Now I can't go to the gym anymore, but at least I can warm up in my house. So now I'm talking about you doing an exercise together, like the man, the woman, and the children. Like we started that in our house, whereby my husband, myself, and my kids, every morning we do exercise. It's very, very important. It brings bonding. Don't forget, I'm talking about bonding. I'm not talking about you doing the exercise just for the fun of it. No, do the exercise because you want to bond. When we talk about bonding with children, <coughs> excuse me, when we talk about bonding with children, it's not just about um, talking, talking, talking to them, and you get that you know, affection, and all of a sudden you people are best of friends. No, at times it's about the things, the activities you do together. At times it's about the activities you do together like this exercise like i'm saying if you're doing exercise together with time you could gist even while doing the exercise like you're doing this doing this doing this you know you're not doing something serious but the children get used to this thing like when we were doing this i think the day before yesterday my daughter was saying she was saying um talking about what's it called now uh, she was talking about me, she not being fat. She said, I am having a big tummy, so why must she do exercise with us? You understand? You know, children of ladders, they will always confront you. We tell you the way it is. She was like, I'm not, I'm not big. I don't have a big tummy like you, so why are you saying uh, I must do exercise? And I said, it's actually for you to so keep fit. So exercise is not just about, or it's not just for those that are big like me. It's actually for you to keep fit. That's the major thing. So. With time, we got you. The first day, they said no. They were, you know, pulling themselves like they don't want to do this and all of that. With time, they got used to it. And in the morning, when they wake up after praying, they want to fire on with their head to sight. So, with time, if they grow up with this, in future, they'll be able to cultivate this habit, like even giving it to their own children. 
with time we'll be able to have you know familiar words while exercising and we'll be able to use this outside so it is very very important we exercise fourth year i wrote playing with children playing with your kids is very very important like very very important you play with your children you play with kids this period like i started i when i started i was talking about a father not being around or maybe a mother that is um, a career woman that always goes to work and all of that and you don't have the time you were not having the time then now you have the time to stay at home stay at home play with them don't be too big to play with your children don't be too big to play with them if it's if they are on the floor stay on the floor play let them just create the time i'm not saying you should be with them 24 7 playing no you have things to do but create that time to play if it's games Create a game, something even educational, anything, something enlightening. Create something for you and your children to do. It's, it helps with, uh, what's it called, interaction. It helps with interaction. You help your children interact with you. For instance, when you are playing a game and while playing, you know, you are beating them or she, the person is um, winning. You know, that anxiety is there. The friendship is there and we need the friendship amongst us and our children it's very very important we need that friendship with them and where am i now my fifth point here is meditation meditation it is very very important to meditate it is very very important to meditate when you meditate you have the self-awareness like it comes to your own you know mindset or to your how will i put it now it's it comes to your own thinking at that time that okay this is what i am doing at this particular time like i had something recently whereby i heard something someone was saying i think it was a movie shot their demons and some kill their demons and that's how it is in life we all have that spirit in us you know it's very funny most of us don't even know ourselves it's very very funny like you've not studied yourself enough to know who you are and it's very important we know who we are at times in a relationship you hear some people say ah oh, the guy has a problem like uh, my my sister Ruth wrote something today she was talking about um you saying so 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 and so person has a problem and you keep saying this thing this particular person or you meet another person you say that person has a problem another person has this problem you don't you've never even sat down to think maybe you are the one having the problem at times in my life i actually sit down to think am i the one having a problem why is this thing you know reoccurring why if something keeps reoccurring ask yourself maybe it's not the other person maybe it's actually you that has that problem so when you meditate you meditate and you find time to you know think about yourself meditate find time to think about the future what next should i do what's the next step should i what next step should i take and all of that then you realize that there's actually something in you that you are actually nurturing is that you are nurturing that thing or you are actually fighting it and you have to be intentional about it so we all have that thing in us i won't call it a demon now but it could be a spirit. I will use the word spirit instead of demon. It could be a spirit, a bad spirit. So it's either you're nurturing that spirit, like you are petting the spirit instead of you to kill the spirit. We all have it in us. So it's either you kill or you pet. So that falls under meditation. When you meditate, you're, you're able to know yourself. Intercourse. Yes, intercourse. I'm not going to, we can't even, we can't flee from it. It's very, very important this period for us to, yes, for us to have that intimacy with our spouses. It is very, very essential. It's not, you know, I saw something on Instagram which is very, very funny. Everyone has been laughing about it. And at the same time, there is a truth in that thing. There's one sincere truth, as in it's just there. We all, they've been saying, uh, uh, what's it called now? Uh, the special holiday i call it a special holiday the special holiday has made husband and wives to stay at home so side chicks are actually suffering now you know people have been saying that thing with all excitement and i'm like it is well with them but that's the truth you don't have time you don't have um, any excuse to be out there 
If you are not working, stay at home with your spouse. You understand? So it's a time to, to have that intercourse, have the intimacy with your spouse. So many people are looking for children, but they don't have the time. Maybe because they are working, there is no time to do what they want to do at night. They are like, I'm tired, this one is tired and all of that. That is why I keep saying marriage is about intentionality. You have to be intentional. You have to be intentional. There are spouses like that that will tell you they are tired this evening. I'm so sorry, I can't do this. And you want to give birth to. You want to procreate. You want multiplication. So it's very important for us to have intercourse this period as a married couple. It's very, very important. Do it. Just do it, but do it very well because the children are home. Mm. I think the children I actually have um, some points regarding the children also. It's very, very important that we minimize their, um, what's it called, their TV watching, their television watching, because of course, if you're not prepared, it will tell you will be caught on our way. So you just release them to watch TV all day long. And that's why I started with you actually having a timetable. If you're having a timetable, then you would know what the child is supposed to do at this particular time, you understand? So it's very, very important that you have um, a timetable, you have, um, what's it called, um, an activity for them at a particular time. So they don't just fall, you know, watching TV. Though they are even TV, there are so many stations, like so many YouTube channels that they could actually watch successfully. So it's good to check ahead. Then you can check Amazon Prime. They have um, this free, they cancelled subscription. So you can check for free educative works for your children. Also, yeah, I said, please learn how to, you know, shout less or scream less on your children this period. You know, this period they are home, eh, it could be very, very annoying at times when they all annoy us. It's normal. But one thing we must do, uh, one thing we must do, like, I like this, I think, um, what's her name now? So, so, Spice. She said this last week, she was talking about before you do anything to your child, before you shout on him, before you spank him or her, it's very important you count one, two, three, four, five. I've been trying to count, though. I won't lie. Like, I've been trying to count one, two, three, four, five before I shout. I'm still a working in progress. Like, I'm working in progress, seriously. Because there are times the children will annoy you. Mm -mm. There are times they could be very, very annoying. You know, at times I would just sit down and start thinking, ah, when I was growing up too, I used to do this thing. You understand? So we should always even put, what I do say then is, Put yourself in that child's position. Like for instance, when a child throws a plate on the floor mistakenly, mistakenly, instead of you know shouting or screaming, good evening, ma. Thanks for joining me. Instead of shouting or screaming on, at that child, actually imagine what if you were the one that threw it, even as big as you are, because we do mistakes also and we overlook it. So it's very, very important. I'm not saying you should just scold your child, don't get me wrong free to scold your child but ensure you don't scream you don't shout too much for your own health you know for your own sake it's very very important you do things moderately so here again we wrote um, manage the every mood okay <clears throat> so now people will keep on talking about the food the children eat they eat a lot blah 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 and all of that so again i learned this last week from um so so talk with sex talk with um, what's her name Anna, her name is Anna. I learned this last week about how to portion food. For portion food, like I have three children and um, getting three bags, I got three bags for each of them. So it's not their food, they eat normally, but they are snacks. You know, when they are home like this, they want to take everything called snacks. They want to take everything at home. If it's possible to eat everything at home once, they don't mind. But you, for you to, you know, train them it's not just a matter of today anything we do today is because of tomorrow is because of the future so for you to train them you could get three bags like i got three bags for my three children and get their snacks so every day i keep snacks in each bag for them so i this person like the first one knows her bag the second knows her bag the third one knows his bag so i've told them once that snacks is finished like when it's finished that's all for the day I'm not going to be having another one. They are not taking any other thing. So this actually helps the child to 
be able to control his or her own appetite. It is very, very necessary. It's very, very necessary. I'm going to be, okay, I don't want to be behind time. So apart from that, it's very important we reward our children. Reward children when they do something good. Reward them when, even your spouse, reward your spouse. When your spouse has done something good this season, and we are talking about bounty, don't forget. So when your spouse has done something good this season, reward your spouse. Even if it's with an extra kiss, reward your spouse. Because now you cannot go outside to buy the whole world. Reward your spouse even if it's with an extra kiss. Then the children, it's very, very important you reward them also. Like, I'm not saying you should buy something very, very big for the child. No. <clears throat> you could reward the child with an extra fruit, with an extra apple, with an extra biscuit or something. It makes them, you know, do what they ought to do. It makes them happy doing it, you understand? So it's very important to be reward. And lastly, I'm going to say, engage your children. Engage them with activities at home. Engage them with activities, activities at home. There are times uh, children, you know, six, seven, eight years, nine, they don't know how to maybe wash play, they don't know how to sweep. If it's important this period, if they've not been doing it before now, engage them. They should start doing things at home. It helps you as parents to relax quickly. Yeah. It also helps them to learn quickly. So it's very, very important we engage our children in everything we do. So like I start, I started with bonding as a family bonding as a family, when they actually engage with um, activities, you still bond. You bond even while walking, while sweeping. Ah, um, like now, say, Bolu, bring this thing. You know, divine, bring this, blah, blah. You engage, you talk. You talk and they find that friend as in, they see you as a friend. It's very important for children, our uh, children to see us as friends, not just as um, parents. It's very, very important. They see us as friends, not just as parents. And like I said earlier on, create games. Create family games your children can actually play with. Create family games they can play with. So with everything, with everything happening now, we're going to be talking about, like I said from the beginning, I said we were talking about bonding, and I will definitely talk about the virus happening now. It's very, very important concerning the virus. It's very, very important. We pray. The best of the best is stay at home. They've said it, stay at home. The best is to stay at home this period. If you don't have anything important for you to do, just stay at home. If it's to get stuffs at the groceries, go ahead, get your groceries, come back home, you know. But stay at home. Stay at home. Sanitize yourself. The max, regarding the max, I don't know if you've seen the video of there are two types of marks. Apart from the explanation of the green part and the white part, apart from that, you have um, a mask that is not actually functional for this period. I, I, I only have the one that is functional. That I'll just now. So if you don't have that particular mask, then it means we are just inhaling deaths with a regular mask. Uh, so we have, thank you, we have this particular mask, this one those particular marks. Okay, so if you have this particular mark, it's kind of functional. Mm, it's kind of functional for this period. But if it's the regular mark that everyone is using presently, the normal one you use in the restaurant, the normal one you use at the hospital, then it's not really functional for this period. Because it's not, it actually, you can, with this mask, I can't really inhale. I can't inhale anything outside this. But with the other marks, you can actually inhale anything. So what's the essence of using the marks? You understand? Then regarding the gloves, when we use gloves, the disposable gloves, I, I don't have anyone here, but when we use the disposable gloves, you realize that you're not still doing what you ought to do. Like I posted a picture, you're using a glove and you're still using your hands on your face because we are all used to using our hands on our face. I'm very sure I have done. I am very sure I have done it <laughs> sitting here. So it is normal to do it, but we need to be intentional. We need to be conscious about it. We need to be intentional about what is happening now. With what is happening now, you need to be intentional. You need to know what you're doing. Okay, I just did. I just touched him. Yeah. 
it's normal okay so it's very important you need to work on your ends and on your face so the bacteria or the virus doesn't stay here forever after 10 minutes it's off so it cannot go into your system from your hand no it's not possible it goes in through the sensory parts your mouth your nose and that's why they keep saying it do not put your hand on your mouth do not put it on your nose do not put it on your hand and all of that so if you're going to be sitting down in your house in your house like if you are at home of course you can do that because you're not going outside you understand and you're washing your hands consistently so the major thing is when you are outside ensure you are intentional about it don't put your hand on your face if you are using glove, do not use the glove the second time. It's called a disposable glove. So after, when you go out, you come in, throw the glove in the bin. And make sure you don't put your hand, that glove. Because, I don't know, some people are used to, okay, don't put your hand on your face, but you can put your glove on your face. No, it's not that way. You don't put, when your glove is on your hand, do not put it on your face. Because the virus on that hand, on that glove now is on the face you understand so ensure when you're um, what's it called when you are outside you don't put your hand be it with glove or without glove do not put it on your face so that's that for that then we have um, what's it called how to see I've kept that hand on my nose <laughs> we have how to what um, prevent yourself you know the season now it's spring yeah here in Europe it's spring and it's normal for you to have cold, for you to cough, like you have flu this period, it's normal. But what is now abnormal is the fact there is coronavirus and um, it's part of the symptoms. So now when you sneeze, people are like, hey, she has virus, you understand? So for people not to say you have virus or for you yourself not to be scared you have virus, ensure you take care of your health. Do not wait for the virus to start knocking before you start taking what you want to take. So now um, I actually wrote down here, like things you could prepare yourself. It's not compulsory you go down all the way to Nigeria or you in Nigeria go down to the market to buy herbs in quotes. It's not compulsory. You could make herbs with fruits. You could make herbs with fruit like your pineapple peel. That's the back of the pineapple. You could peel it and boil with orange, lemon, ginger, garlic, very, very important. You could mix all of this together, you know, and cook it very well and drink. These are things that could actually help in, um, boost your immune system. Thank you so much for joining, Precious. I can see you. Thank you so much. Please, as you're joining, just kindly share the video. It's very important. Someone out there gets this information. So, uh, like I was saying, you could use your pineapple peels your orange peel the ginger and garlic then if you want to add honey you can add honey if you want to if you have apple cider it's very very important it's very good you could actually use that also and if you don't have any of all of these i mentioned then you could use green tea if you have green tea at home use your green tea and lemon every morning every night like I, if you heard me before I, I am not saying we should use these because of the coronavirus in quotes but it's still part of it i'm saying because it's spring and it's normal to have flu it's normal to have cough this period depending on your immune system it's better you take care of your health because when you sneeze outside somebody will say man sister please be careful you know, this time around, people don't say bless you anymore when you sneeze. They run. You understand? So if you don't want them to run away from you when you're outside or you, for you to be scared yourself because some people are actually panicking presently, if you don't want to be in that shoe, ensure you take care of your health. Take water. Take fluid. Continue. Just drink. I'm not the person that drink water. I won't lie. I don't drink water, but I try to take fluid. And when we say fluid, it could be hot. See, all green tea. I take all green tea a lot. All green tea and lemon. Continue, just take it, take it, and help your immune system. You could also take vitamin C. It's very, very important. Take vitamin C. Anything citrus is very, very good for the period. Okay. Then, um, lastly, regarding that, I would say you can use um, steaming. It's very good. Also, you can use steaming like um, you put 
maybe the leftovers of your fruits, the back of your fruit, like the orange, the lemon and all of that, put it on fire and steam. The normal one we usually do then was just the hot water. You would use um, a towel to cover yourself and your steam. So you could do any of that. You could steam, bring your bucket of hot water, steam if you have just nothing if you have just water use water it's very very good for cold it's good for cold and it could help your system so all of these are things that could actually help um, what's it called boost our immune system for the period and we need to be very very careful i also heard of um, what's it called bitter cola if you have bitter cola and uh, bitter cola you could blend bitter cola um, ginger and um, lime and lemon right a lemon you could um, mix together and drink blend together then you drink it helps the immune system so these are things we need to work on you know at times you might be like it can never come near us it can never nobody actually planned it i call this i, I call this um uh, what's it called special holiday because it wasn't planned it, it wasn't planned but it's still good you understand it's good for your health everything so it's essential it's essential that you actually work on your health this period work on your health don't work just because of coronavirus no do it for yourself help yourself build yourself so i'm talking about the bonding i started with bonding and i'm talking about the virus help yourself build yourself this period build i'm actually watching oh okay build yourself this period do what it takes, do whatever it is to prepare for your future. Don't just stay at home because we don't know how long we'll be staying at home. Don't stay at home for one, two months and after everything you just believe you start life and you know, you've lost a lot. So ensure you build, yes, build yourself this period. And like I started, build yourself with your family. Do not leave your wife behind. Do not leave your children behind and you want to just build yourself as a man. Ensure you build the home ensure you build your home so for me COVID-19 is taking much yeah it has taken much and it's still taking much from from us all but the truth is there are so many advantages happening right now so we have to use it you have to utilize the advantage and um, lastly like I am going to be rounding up I don't want to exceed my time but I'm going to state seven things we need to do this period Seven good things we need to do. Number one, eat LD. Eat LD, like LD. No matter how small it is, ensure you eat LD. Anyhow you want to, just eat LD. It's very, very important. Avoid freezy drinks. Avoid it. For me this year now, I've tried my best. I'm still trying. I'm trying to avoid it. Mm, I'm not tempted. Avoid it. You could make your juice yourself. You could go to the mall, you know, get some fruits blend do whatever it is you want to do with your juice you know just be just be what's it called be creative utilize the opportunity utilize the period of staying at home be creative get fruits blend yourself if you have zobo leaf prepare zobo zobo is very very healthy you could check online for the benefits of zobo it's very very good very very healthy so you could do your zobo drink you could do ginger drink ginger drink too is perfect like it's perfect. It's very, very good. These are things I try to take. So it's very good you do instead of the freezy drinks. Avoid it. I'm not saying if you cannot avoid it completely because it's not something you could just do once. You could reduce the way you take it. You could reduce the way you take your freezy drinks or your sugary juice. Then if you smoke this period, I will beg you, please stop smoking. This period, stop smoking because these are um, avenue or loopholes for the virus to come in. Mm. These are loopholes for the virus to come in. So try your best to stop. And like I said earlier on, exercise, 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 exercise. It is very, very important this period. Because the thing is, when we sit at home and we're like, oh, they say we shouldn't go out, we have to be at home, you will start getting fat. And after the two months of only God know how long we'll be here, like staying at home, and your spouse will be like, man, how come you've blown up like this, <laughs> you know? Or you yourself, you won't be feeling comfortable anymore. So it's very good, even in the spirit, while you stay at home, you exercise. I'm not saying you should go to the gym now, no. You could actually walk. 
They didn't say you shouldn't come out at all. Though. Like here yeah, in France, they didn't say we shouldn't come out at all. They actually said we could walk somewhere around. Yes, we could walk. And you know, walking too close, you know, the social distance and all of that. So you're free to walk. Take a walk instead of sitting at home. Or you do your exercise in the parlor. You're free to do your exercise in your living room at all time, any time. You're free to skip. Yeah, you're free to skip. I, I try doing that. So I try skipping more often. It's very, very good. You skip. It helps your brain. Even while you skip, it helps your brain. So, like I said, stop sitting for, for so long. And um, very, very important, look after your mental health. Look after your mental health. Ensure you are sane. Ensure you are sane. Ensure you are sane. Ensure you are sane. Don't just go to what's it called? Don't go on Instagram, social, or what's it called? Facebook and all the social medias. Don't just go there just to look at what is happening and you are killing yourself. You are panicking. Ensure you are sane. Ensure you are sane. This period, some people will not even have this thing, but just because of the panic, because of the fear, you realize that some people will lose their life. So ensure you are sane at all times. It's not compulsory you must sit on the TV to watch television from morning to night. No. Ensure you watch TV or ensure you watch news. Mm -mm. I'm not saying you shouldn't watch news. Watch news. It is very, very important. Watch news. It is very, very important. It is very, very important to watch news. But do if it's once or twice in a day. Do not watch CNN 24-7 this period because they'll just give you an attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, ensure you watch this news gently, gently, don't overdo it, mm. don't over watch it all, even this media, social media, whatsapp, they keep sending unnecessary messages, messages that can just give one heart attack, ensure you, you know, you um, weigh what you are watching, ensure you weigh what you are actually getting, the spirit, okay, so I got an information now that Davido's wife, Davido's wife, Okay, Corona, pray for Corona. Okay. Pray. It's well. It's well with the, it's well with all of us in Jesus' name. So we are going to, as we round up, we are rounding up, but I don't want us to round up without praying. It's very, very important. I know it's um it's um what's it called? Relationship talk with Abilite. But just because of what is happening on the planet right now, I want us to just take a minute to say God, help our country, help the world, help the world. Let this come to an end. We are tired. Father, please help the world, help this world with everything happening. Lord, help us, help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let coronavirus come to an end in the name of Jesus. Let coronavirus come to an end. So, thank you so much for joining. Yeah, if you're just joining me, please go and watch the beginning of this program. If you're just joining, watch from the beginning. Yes. And does this, I don't know, we are going to pray for Chioma, that's David Doe's wife, for God to heal her. I hear um, she's also having the virus. I pray God Almighty heals her and heals everyone having this virus this season. I pray God, and I pray, I'm just begging, please, please stay safe. If you have to sit at home, sit at home. That is what they are saying now, sit at home. If you're not um, working in a pharmaceutical company or working in the hospital, sit at home, sit at home. So we are going to be saying thank you again for joining me. I am grateful. Mm, it's the first video I'm doing this year and I'm very, very happy doing it. I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad to see you, sister. Hey, mama. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Um, Shion, uh, uh, Madam Shion, thank you so much. I can see everyone, though, but because of time. I won't be able to mention names but thank you so 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 much for joining i'm grateful please do share this video and like i said if you're just joining go ahead go and watch over and over again i said something very very important at the beginning which is bonding how you can bond this period why it is very very important you bond this period anything you do this period cannot be unbreakable it's not going to be on it's not going to be breakable sorry anything you do this period won't be breakable so it's very very important you bond this period for the future bond with your children bond with your spouse whatever it is whatever secret you've been hiding it's a period to actually bond so have a blessed weekend ahead god bless you and keep safe bye